Extreme high temperature events, particularly short periods of heat shock, are a major threat to yield and grain quality throughout much of the Australian wheat belt. Current projections of Australian climate change indicate that the heat waves and temperature variability will become more frequent and more intense in the coming decades. That's why it's important that new wheat germplasm with improved high temperature tolerance and the molecular tags linked to this tolerance are developed and introduced into commercial breeding programs. Each season, we screen thousands of lines across multiple dates of sowing and locations. The Plant Breeding Institute in Narrabri is where a reference population is grown, and smaller subsets of the same material are screened in Western Australia and Victoria to provide a basis for our genomic selection models. Each year, high-performing lines are retained from the previous year, intolerant materials removed and new materials added. Each wheat line is assessed for various traits, including yield, using a three-tiered strategy. Firstly, thousands of lines are evaluated in the field in replicated yield plots at Narrabri in northwestern New South Wales at different times of sowing. We then use in-field heat chambers to induce heat shock during reproductive development on our most promising material to confirm heat tolerance. Those lines that maintain heat tolerance in the heat chambers are screened in temperature-controlled greenhouses to assess pollen viability under heat stress. Materials that can survive all three stages of testing are considered to be highly heat tolerant. Heat stress during reproductive development can severely reduce the proper formation of the grain and the number of grains per spike due to pollen abortion. Heat stress at the grain filling stage limits the accumulation of assimilates by shortening the duration of grain filling, which reduces the final grain weight. In the glasshouse, we've been looking more closely at the interaction between high temperature stress and elevated carbon dioxide at flowering on both commercial and breeding lines of wheat. Some recent Australian cultivars combine both high yield and heat tolerance. However, new pre-breeding materials that have been developed using these methods offer commercial wheat breeders new sources of diversity for both yield and heat tolerance. Pollen viability is assessed using mature pollen collected at flowering. We use impedance flow cytometry to estimate the viability of plant cells. Over 10,000 pollen cells can be analysed per minute, making this method very efficient without compromising on accuracy. Our team are dedicated to mitigating the impact of a changing climate for growers both in Australia and overseas through the development and implementation of superior genetic material and new technologies. If you'd like to know more, please don't hesitate to contact us.